I'm Chip Foose here at the Detroit Autorama 2013 and you're watching Backyard Wrench Heads TV. This presentation of the 2013 Detroit Autorama is brought to you by Pirelli. Power is nothing without control. And by Eaton Detroit Spring, made in the USA in Detroit. Welcome to the 61st Annual Detroit Autorama. Hosted by the Michigan Hot Rod Association each year, this event is known as America's Greatest Hot Rod Show. And each year, the show gets bigger and the cars get better. This show provides you with the opportunity to meet and talk to the car owners and builders, maybe even with the intentions of building your own car and showing it off here in Detroit at a future show. And who better would you like to get the inside scoop from than top custom car designer and builder, Chip Foose. If I were to say a percentage of the car that is original, there's about 10% of the original 49 Cadillac convertible that's left here. Hi, I'm Chip Foose and I'm here at the Detroit Autorama 2013 and we brought out Chris and Paul Andrews 49 Cadillac convertible called Eldorod. I absolutely love when a customer says, he says, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right. And so we did it from, you know, basically just completely redid the car. It's got different wheels now, it's got different wheel openings, it's got all new glass, it's got a new top, all new side glass opening shapes. Uh, we changed the bumpers, the grill, we changed all the sheet metal around the engine, we changed the cowl, we changed the complete interior, we changed the dash, the steering wheel, the center console. The hood is completely hand fabricated, the deck lid's hand fabricated, pretty much everything from the tops of the front fenders up is fabricated. We added the peaks in the top of the fenders, which matched the rear fenders because there was a peak there originally, but we changed the whole taillight shape. I have to thank Paul and Chris Andrews for allowing us to build their dream. But not only is it their dream, it's our dream to build the best car we can build, and we got to do it for them. When you ask me of all the cars that I've built, which ones would I really love to have back? You know, I, these are like your kids. And it's amazing, when I come here to the 50th anniversary of the Riddler Award, We've got all three of the past Riddlers that we built at Foos Design that are here. If I say that I'm going to want them back, I don't have enough storage to keep them somewhere. I love the fact that the owners of these cars love the cars and take care of them. So they're in great homes and I get to visit them. The first time I ever saw an Anglia was uh, probably back in the 70s uh, at the local drag strip. Uh, there was a, a 427 blown Anglia that when it launched, all four wheels left the ground. Hi, I'm Alden Miles. This is my 1948 Ford Anglia, a car that took 10 years to build and started off by a, just a shell of a body. When I grew up, I was a muscle car kid, so I didn't have a street rod. So I said if I was ever going to build a street rod, I'd build an Anglia. Started off wanting to make it as custom as, as possible, but make it unique in the fact that most Anglias are drag race cars. And I wanted this to have more of a luxury effect. So this car has air conditioning, it has heat, it has defrost, it has a retractable soft top roof in, in the top of it, it has suicide doors, which were not standard on Anglia, and it has a full leather interior in it. When I take it out on the street, uh, it certainly gets a lot of attention because not many people know what an angle is. There's not many of them around. Uh, and the motor is a blown 427 cubic inch Chevrolet engine with a turbo 400 in it. Uh, it has 850 horsepower in a car that weighs about 3,200 pounds. So once you accelerate hard on it, it breaks tires loose pretty easily. And uh, uh, it's, it's small, it's fast, and it's scary.
Well, for the past 10 years, I've been doing renderings for some of the coolest cars in the country, working with some of the coolest people, and just having a blast doing it. I'm Murray Path. We are here at the 2013 Detroit Autorama celebrating Path Design's 10th anniversary. It all started by doing some renderings on the side, working nights and evenings for a few friends, and word spread to the point where I had to quit my day job and go into this. And here we are 10 years later, taking a moment to reflect on what's been going on and to bring some of these cars together from across the country to put them all on display in one area for the first time. Well, very early on, I could always remember drawing cars looking out the car window on road trips with my parents. I was in the back seat doodling stuff. I've been very fortunate to work with some really great people and some great names in the industry doing a car for Sammy Hagar. I've done a few cars for Richard Petty at the Petty's Garage. I just did a car for Tim Tebow, football player. And this is Boost by Weaver Customs. It's a 1950 Chevrolet Speedster. I just rendered this four or five months ago. Chopped off top, little Speedster windshield, outrageous uh, supercharged engine, and the interior with the kicker sound system is just incredible. One of the other cars that we have here on display is a 1955 Chevrolet Nomad called Lomad. And it was a car that I did five or six years ago, and this is the first time I've seen it in person. The builder did an incredible job with it. I'm so proud to have it here. It's parked right next to a 1955 Chevrolet owned by Keith Jarab. He's out of Chicago. Dale Schwartz's car, 1982 Trans Am. His father's car, 1981 Trans Am, with a twin turbo. 6.9 liter uh, LS motor that's making 1,044 horsepower at the rear wheels. Now if that weren't mean enough, Mark Stilo's 1967 Camaro known as Mayhem parked right next to it. 877 horsepower supercharged that just won the Optima Invitational. So it's a great display. I bought this car about eight, nine years ago. Uh, I actually bought it on the internet and it was a bit of a surprise when I got it because uh, when it was actually delivered, uh, it wasn't anything what it was uh, uh, advertised. I'm uh, Kevin Callahan and this is my 1970 Pontiac GTO. Uh, when I picked this car up, I was uh, informed that this had a 400 cubic inch motor, but uh, when I ended up getting it home, it turned out it had a Chevy 350 was swapped into it, so I was a little bit shocked. My son and I uh, started taking the car apart in the garage and um, at the time he was uh, eight years old and hey, it was a good time for him to learn some mechanics. In fact, my wife called me up one day and uh, she goes, hey Kevin, what's going on? Patrick's in the garage and he just took the windows out of the car. I'm like, what? I couldn't believe it. And him and I just kept taking it apart, taking it apart. Everything we could unbolt, everything that could come apart, we took apart. Before I even bought the car, um, I got a five car garage at home. I painted my garage fluorescent green, uh, but it was loud and obnoxious and I wanted the car to be loud and obnoxious. Well, the motor here is a Pontiac 455. Uh, it's got Edelbrock high performance heads, um, running a Holley 950 carburetor. The whole exhaust system is running a uh, dual three inch exhaust. Try to make the car more convenient and easy to drive. We also added navigation to the car, rear view camera to the car. You know, the big issue is I want a car this time I could take to a show and I could actually win an award versus just being eye candy somewhere. Uh, but the problem is I also want a car that can be driven. And this is one car that's not afraid to be driven. It's built hard, it's built tough. And uh, a lot of people think that this car is a trailer queen. Well, this is far from a trailer queen. We take this car out and we drive it hard the way it was meant to be. I'll put on more smoke than anybody else.
This presentation of the 2013 Detroit Autorama was brought to you by Pirelli Tire. Power is nothing without control. And by Eaton Detroit Spring. Made in the USA in Detroit.